Hello, so this is all about NumPy, loading a file from a CSV filter and converting it to an int. So as you can see on the screen, what I've got is a CSV that I want to import. Now, a common way to do it with NumPy is load TXT. So as you can see, I've got um, two files here. I've got 123.csv and 123w.csv. So just numbers, one, two, three, four, five, all that. So we'll run this. We get the array equal to mp.loadtxt, the delimiter is comma. So we get an array and there we go. You'll notice that it's imported as float rather than int. We'll sort that in a minute. Next, we've got a file which has now got an additional column, same as the first file, except, there we go, so we've got text in the fourth column. So when we run that, we should get, using gen from text, rate two, none, not a number. So, if you try to do load txt, change that, get rid of that. If we try to do load txt, sorry, wrong way around, put that back in there. If we try to do load txt on the file that's got the words in it, string, you get an error. So this is why load txt if it's just numbers and gen from txt if it includes a string in any of the columns and then you get none so then what i've done is i've just sliced it say 0 to 3 uh, so a colon there means uh, the thing before the comma means rows so i'm saying all rows and then i'm saying 0 to 3 so 0 1 2 up to 3 but not including 3 so go uh, one, two, three. So we should have, if we print uh, this and that, we then get the same as before. So we've cut off the fourth column, so to speak. Um, filter the array. So what we want to do is just filter that for values that are greater than four and less than eight. So it should remove those. So if we do this, and there we go. Filtered. So that's one way of doing it, or you can use a lambda function, which we'll see in a minute. Um, so the filtered array is now set to what we've just done. And then if we want to do a filtered array, but change these values to integers, we just say np.int.underscore. And that works on one, two, and even three dimensional arrays. So We've filtered it to integers, and now what we're going to do is just basically going to add, use a lambda function, that's just the function, and then we're going to apply that function, so all of that, we're going to apply it to our filtered array. So let's run that, and there we go. So these here were converted to integers on that line. And then at the end, we add 10 using the Lambda function. So we've looked at loading from CSV. So if it's got a string in it, you use gen from text, gen from TXT even. If it's just integers, then you can use, or if it's just numeric, you can do load TXT. The delimiter is usually a comma, but if it's tab or anything different, you can specify with the limiter. Uh, would it have worked without that? Let's see, let's try. And it doesn't because it's required. So there we go. Um, this has been a quick intro to NumPy. Really, if um, you're manipulating data sets with rows and columns rather than using uh, Excel or even pandas, you can often do what you need to with NumPy. And for machine learning purposes, NumPy is kind of your go-to uh, module. So yeah, thanks for watching and back with more with, back more, back soon with more.
thumbs up, subscribe and all that. Cheers. Bye.